Hey, this is uh, Kevin again, uh, bringing you now the Hittites, one of the uh, next big heavy hitters in the series of the biblical armies. Uh, we did the Egyptians, now the Hittites, and probably next will be the Assyrians, and, and then some of the other states, Mitanni, uh, the Trojans, Achaeans, etc. But the Hittites uh, really came from uh, one of the sons of Noah, mentioned in the Bible many times, fierce, really, really didn't like the Israelites. They were at war constantly. Um, we know the Hittites mostly from the Battle of Kadesh against Ramses III. But uh, this was a very interesting army and a very fierce one, uh, fought over the, the rugged terrain of, of uh, Anatolia. It was a chariot army for sure, um, had light mobile infantry, and it was... Um, more of a fast-hitting and loved ambush type of army. Um, heavy, heavy bow, sling, and relied very much on its chariotry. But we'll see that when we get to the, uh, to the army itself. But the military organization, they probably brought about 20,000 men to them at the Battle of Kadesh. Uh, I tried to represent the army uh, based on all of the different regions that it actually occupied and gained tribute from its allies and places that it conquered. So let's take a look at, at this army from, from um, a bird's eye and take a look at it. Well, here it is from a, a bird's eye perspective. It is a massive uh, army and very versatile. So there's a lot of different elements here that can be moved in and out depending on what battle that I would like to portray or what I'm trying to do. So it has charity from Mitanni. It has charity from the uh, coastal Lydian states. It has uh, forces that came from the north, the Cascas. It has sea peoples. It has um, various different contingencies of of troops from their vast empire. You could see from the map before, I mean, all of modern day Turkey, uh, all the way down into the Levant, Lebanon, and butting up against Assyria was its domain in the new Hittite kingdom. So we're, we're talking about, you know, 1200 to 1000, somewhere in there. But I tried to paint it uh, in the way that I thought they would look the chariots are from Essex. I think they made the very, very best one. The uh, larger chariots that they brought into battle, those are from Curasan. I really like those. And the rest of the figures are from Curasan. These in particular, the uh, Gascon or, or Casca allies, um, chariot and gladiator figures. They all seem to mix extremely well together, as you can see from, from the photos. I tried to, to pull up ancient sources of what they might have looked like. As you can see from here, they, they didn't have uniform colors, but they were very, very bright uh, colored people. A lot of interesting patterns on their capes and dress and shields. And so that's what I, I tried to do, was to paint a very multicolored, very unique, Hittite looking army. It's extremely uh, unique in its, its way. So it stretches, when I lay it out as a battle line, almost seven feet, actually almost eight, uh, to be honest. And it has, uh, as I mentioned before, lots of different elements. So archers, um, the chariots, various kinds of chariots, so mostly light, but with uh, center axle and broad-based, so the Hittites loved to use the chariot as a uh, mobile infantry platform. They could bring troops to the battle very, very quickly. Their chariots were a little bit more durable than the Egyptian, and they either rode with two or three riders in the chariot platform. These have two riders, but it's... Uh, you know, constraint is by the miniature manufacturer themselves. If they don't get it right, well, we don't get it right. I think Curasan did a much better job in portray portraying it. These are extremely well done, 
And that's what a Hittite chariot probably should have looked like, uh, carrying three, four men uh, to the battle. You know, in 1279, I think that was uh, the Battle of Kadesh. So Ramses II, the great warrior Pharaoh, he knew that for him to have stability, he needed to thwart or stop the Hittite threat that was just really hanging over this Syrian zone. So the Hittites' advantage uh, was gaining as they were taking one um, city after the next and fortifying it. So the Egyptians had uh, strategically had to work very, very quickly. Otherwise, it was going to be the, the, the domino theory. Well, they became friends after that. But the demise of the Hittites came from the Sea Peoples and their internal rebellions and ultimately from the Assyrians coming from the south. It was an empire that lasted well over 2,000 years, and it is one of the strong biblical powerhouses. Hope you enjoyed it.